Oh, there's this one at the Blackmore Tunnel. Opened 1897, yeah? Yep, so spooky Victorian stuff. So, there was this one night in the 70s, and there was this guy who was riding on his motorcycle through the deserted tunnel. He'd never seen it so empty before, and so quiet. There wasn't a single car, there wasn't a single pedestrian, except a lone hitchhiker. And this hitchhiker, he had this long, long dark black hair, and he had this motorbike gear on. So the guy pulls up by him, and offers him a lift. The hitchhiker accepts and gives him an address, and the address was to his girlfriend's house. So, they go on a motorbike together, and this is where it gets pretty damn creepy. As soon as they leave the tunnel, the hitchhiker disappears. Oh, holy bullshit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, the driver of the motorcycle, obviously alarmed by this, he goes to the address, knocks on the door, a woman answers and he tells her about the hitchhiker and how he looked and she said a boy used to live here years ago matching that exact description but died in a motorbike accident that's, that's ridiculous you made that up oh but it's online come on look it up yourself right i've got one much better than your nonsense so, you know, during the Black Death, there were thousands of mass burials, bodies upon bodies, just buried on top of each other. Well, one of those burials is right here, where we stand today. The trees around us actually got the nutrients from these bodies. I know. And um, once this girl, over 100 years ago, went into the woods with playing with her friend, and they wandered deep into the woods until something stopped her. This horrible smell. It was like something rotting. It was. It smelled like death itself. And she felt like this presence, like something was watching her. But it was just her and her friend. And then, and then she heard this coughing and spluttering, and she heard screams in pain. And then she just grabbed her friend and ran out of the woods. And they went, ran out of the woods as far as they could. And they looked back and they could still hear the coughing and spluttering and the screaming and, and even saw flames flickering from the burning of the bodies. And that's when she noticed. Noticed what? She was covered in boils, big oozing boils. She, she caught the black death. <laughs> that, that's really creepy. Are, are you serious? That That's real? That actually happened? She was rushed into the local hospital where two days later she died of the bubonic plague. Oh, what, what's that over there? Stop trying to scare me just because my story is better than yours. No, no I'm serious. There's someone over there. Right, let's hear another one from you. What, so, so you're just going to dismiss me? Yes. Just before the start of World War One, a man was in these woods, chopping wood for the fire back home. It was getting dark and it was starting to rain, so he began to rush. He wanted to get home from the storm that was approaching. And just as he does that, he slices his left hand clean off, completely misses the wood. What was that? I thought you were the brave one. No, it, it's probably just some kids. It's Halloween afternoon. After he cuts his hand off, he yelps in pain and he runs back indoors. The next morning, the doctor from the local hospital goes to the exact spot to try and find his hand. And he finds the logs, he finds the axe, he even finds a trail of blood, but he can't seem to find the hand. The doctor and then hears a scuttling nearby. He leaves Russell. Suddenly. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, 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 what's going on? There's something in the forest. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't be ridiculous. But it, it, it's a hand. I tell we you, it's a hand. We have to go now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on. I need, I need to get your details and information. Look, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to put your names and addresses in here. You didn't finish the story. Neither did the blog. I think we just found out what that was. The herring fleet, huh?